Overnight, in a new interview, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen said she sees no signs of a recession in the near term. We have unemployment at a 50-year low. There are two job vacancies for every um, American who's looking for work. We have solid household finances. A new government report finds U.S. gross domestic product grew 2.6 percent in the third quarter after six months of a shrinking economy. There's nothing bad about the report, nothing bad about the report. We've created more jobs. We're in a situation where, and look, the price of gasoline is falling. The Federal Reserve is still expected to raise interest rates again next week in hopes of getting Americans to cut back on their spending and bring down inflation. A key issue in the midterm elections now just 11 days away. I can make the difficult decisions as you do in the operating room as a surgeon. I'll make them cutting our budget as well to make sure we don't have to raise taxes on a population already desperately in pain from the high inflation rate. President Biden visiting upstate New York claimed there'll be trouble ahead for the economy if Republicans take control of Congress. Tax credits to lower energy bills. Gone. Corporate minimum tax, gone. Under the Republican plan, some big corporations are going to go back to paying zero again. With polls showing Republicans gaining ground, Democrats are turning to former President Obama. He's campaigning today in Atlanta for Senator Raphael Warnock, who's locked in a tight race against former football star Herschel Walker. And next weekend, Obama will rally in Pennsylvania for John Fetterman, running for Senate against Dr. Mehmet Oz. In their debate Tuesday, Fetterman, who's recovering from a stroke, struggled to complete his answers. I, I, I do support fracking and I don't, I don't, I support fracking and I stand and I do support fracking. But in a hot mic moment yesterday, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer could be heard telling President Biden he does not believe the debate was a setback. It looks like the debate didn't hurt us as much in Pennsylvania as it did. Meanwhile, in Arizona, police have arrested this man in connection with the burglary at the campaign office of Katie Hobbs, the Democrat running for governor. Police say he took a computer mouse, keyboard, and a camera. Hobbs's Republican opponent, Carrie Lake, slamming the Hobbs campaign for suggesting Lake's rhetoric may have inspired the break-in. She's trying to deflect her own abysmal campaign and the fact that, uh, you know, nobody even knows where her campaign office is. Now, that burglary does not appear to be politically motivated. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.